A man wrongfully convicted on murder charges is pushing for the city to catch the real killer. The 1988 murder of four-year-old Barbara Jean Horn is back to being unsolved. And now Walter Ogrod, who was initially convicted of her murder, is pushing for police to do more. Joining us with details is investigative reporter Claudia Vargas. Claudia, what do you have tonight? Right, Jackie. Well, Walter Ogrod's fight with the city might have ended last week when he settled for $9.1 million. But he says he won't stop advocating on behalf of Barbara Jean Horn. Yeah. Walter Ograd celebrated today his $9.1 million settlement with the city of Philadelphia. He was alongside his lawyer, Joseph Marone. It's been a long journey for Walter, uh, going all the way back to this infamous murder in 1988 of this poor young four-year-old girl, Barbara Jean, who we don't want to forget today. Barbara Jean Horn was killed and left naked in a cardboard TV box less than two blocks from her home in 1988. Ograd, who lived across the street at the time of the murder, was arrested four years later. Police at the time said Ograd gave and signed a confession admitting to killing the little girl. But Ograd claimed he was innocent and coerced into signing a false confession. It wasn't until 2020 that a judge agreed to overturn Ograd's conviction and released him from death row. And last week, Ograd settled his lawsuit against the city. We also have new DNA uh, from a new process. During his legal fight with the city, Ograd and his attorneys hired a forensic scientist to analyze the DNA in the Barbara Jean case. That scientist said there is untested DNA that could be tested in the case. Ograd's lawyer, Joseph Marone, says the city has declined to test it. I know the city will debate whether or not that is viable DNA to be tested, and there was a bunch of other protocol that they said they couldn't test it. We, we asked District Attorney Larry Krasner about it today. We are huge believers in the use of forensic science. He let the door open to potential further testing in the Barbara Jean case. We are open in this and every other case, yes. And Philadelphia police has reopened the murder case of Barbara Jean and has the ability to test DNA in it. Officials there have not yet responded to our questions on whether they plan to test any more DNA in the little girl's case. Barbara Jean's mom has also asked the PPD to test the DNA, citing the boy in the box case as an example where old DNA can still be used to solve a case. For the investigators, Claudia Vargas, NBC 10 News. All right, we know you'll continue to ask those questions about that DNA being tested. Claudia, thank you.